over the Washington Castles and welcome to West Wing Week! Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Alright everybody, let's get started. This week, the White House hosted the second annual Kids State Dinner. While the President laid out his vision for building a better, smarter, faster government, awarded the 2012 National Medals of Arts and Humanities, met with the Congressional Black and Hispanic Caucuses, and honored the Washington Castles and the 1963 Ramblers. That's July 5th to July 11th, or bring it on, Brussels sprouts wrap. On Monday, the President kicked off his work week this West Wing week with a challenge to bring the federal government into the 21st century. So today, I met with all my cabinet to develop an aggressive management agenda for my second term that delivers a smarter, more innovative, and more accountable government We've got to have the brightest minds to help solve our biggest challenges. Then, the president hosted the champions of the World Team Tennis League, the Washington Castles, in the Oval Office. That very night, the Castles won their record-breaking 34th straight match. On Tuesday, the president met with the 43 members of the Congressional Black Caucus to address a wide-ranging agenda, including passing comprehensive immigration reform, reducing gun violence, and creating jobs. Then, 54 young chefs visited the White House for the second annual Kids' State Dinner, including last year's winner Haley Thomas, who introduced our host, the First Lady. As a surprise, the President stopped by to greet all the winners of the First Lady's Healthy Lunch Recipe Contest, one from each and every state and territory. These amazing young chefs came up with so many delicious and healthy recipes, and the menu featured some of their dishes. On Wednesday, the President and Vice President met with the 27 members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, where conversation focused on the shared commitment to urge the House to take action and pass common sense immigration reform. Then, the President presented the 2012 National Medal of Arts and National Humanities Medal to 24 deserving recipients, including painters, writers, musicians, filmmakers, playwrights, poets, architects, artists, singers, and thinkers of all stripes. On Thursday, the President invited the 1963 National Champion Loyal of Chicago Ramblers to the Oval Office. The President honored the 50th anniversary of the team's historic college basketball championship, as well as the role they played in breaking down racial barriers. When, when people do the right thing, you know, uh, even if sometimes it feels like it's not making a difference, <laughs> over time it does. Yeah. To find out more information on any of these 21st century topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. Beatrice, how old are you? Five? Is, is that too old to hug or are you still like this? Come on, give me that. Come on. Nice to see you. Thank you so much. And she definitely wants a hug. She always likes a hug.